The facility of being able to use more than one queue has many purposes and in this tutorial we're going to take a look at the advantages of creating a separate production queue for running additional devices. You may run a sign shop or print bureau that operates more than one printer. Maybe it's two identical Roland Versacams or maybe two different types of printer altogether like a Mamaki wide format device and a Gerber Edge thermal device. Whatever the reason, if you run more than one device, doing this from a single rip can often be difficult to manage. And this is where using a separate production queue for each of the devices that you operate will make a real difference. Okay, so you're now looking at VPM, and as you can see at the top here, I have one device installed. It's a Roland Versacam, and for this example, we're gonna add another printer, and we're gonna do this by creating a completely new production queue. First thing I'm going to do is go to the queue menu and select manage queues. From here I can add an additional queue by clicking this green plus symbol. So I now have the setup wizard on the screen and this is going to guide me through the whole process. The first question I have is do I want to create a production queue for a printer that's already installed or for a new printer altogether? It's possible to set up additional queues for a single device in order to manage different output options. Things such as the media type or nesting can all be controlled by having additional queues. But for this example, we're adding a queue for a printer that has not yet been installed. So I'm gonna tick this option down the bottom and click next. Okay, in the next window, I can choose the device I wish to install from a list of manufacturers. I'm going to do this by scrolling down the list to find the correct device. In the next stages, the new printer driver and printer packages will be installed. I'm going to install these from the CadLink printers DVD. So with it placed in my DVD drive, I'm going to select that as my location and click next and the installation process will begin. Okay, so my driver and printer packages for the new device are now installed. The next stage is to assign a printer port and a default print mode. The print mode can be changed at any time. So for now, you could actually select anything. However, if you would like to choose a specific mode at this stage, simply click this context button to view the print mode manager. Now let's say you would like a print mode to use with your stock banner material. The selection of a correct print mode is essential to get the most from your prints. And the nice part here is that narrowing down your search to find the right one is a simple and quick task. At the top here, I'm gonna select the type of ink I use. Next, I will choose the type of media I want to use, which for this example is banner. And then I can choose a manufacturer. For this example, I'm going to be using a media from Avery. So I have very quickly narrowed down my search from hundreds of print modes to just a few. And the only real choice remaining is the print quality. So I can select that from the last section here. And that is my print mode defined. You can view this print mode manager user interface at any time and make changes that are needed on a job by job basis. Okay, moving on then, you can see now that VPM has named the queue according to the device that it is running. You can rename this if you prefer. In the media setup window, I can define a roll width as well as add any margin preferences. This is another group of settings that can be adjusted at any point in the future. So it's not essential that you get them right here, but if you prefer to work with a default set of margins, then you can set them in place and know that they are there for future use. Next, we move on to the layout mode, and this is where some important choices are made. Using automatic nesting means that jobs are placed on the page in the most economical way possible, and this will ultimately save materials. We'll run through an example of outputting through multiple queues at the end of this tutorial, and this will further show some of the advantages of automatic nesting. Whichever method you choose here, remember it's always simple to adjust your choices later on if needed. Now the next and final stage is really associated with the nesting choices you make. 
I have chosen to nest all jobs in VPN, but in addition to this, I may want to limit the pages to a maximum size, and this will make handling larger jobs a little easier. Here I'm going to enter a page limit of 5 meters. So what this means is, as my jobs arrive in VPM, they're going to be nested on the page in the most economical way possible, as I described before. However, when the contents of my page exceeds 5 meters, a new page will automatically be created, so that I don't end up with a very, very long page that's going to be difficult to manage. The only choice left to set now is how to schedule your jobs, and this is really down to personal preference. I like these settings on hold as I feel it gives me more control over the job output, but you may want to set yours in such a way that your jobs will automatically rip or rip and then start printing as soon as they arrive in VPM. For this example, I will leave these settings on hold and click OK and my new queue has now been created. OK, so if we look at VPM, you can see I now have two queues in place. My original one set up to manage the jobs being printed on the Roland Versicam and this new queue that will handle all work for the Mamaki. So with the two production queues in place, let's take a look at sending a new job from Synlab. Here is my first job to be produced. With it selected, I'm going to send it to print by going to the file menu and selecting print and cut. Next in the print and cut setup window, you'll see I have a direct choice as to which printer I would like to send this job to. So let's send this one to my Versacam. Okay, and down the bottom here you can see I can easily access the print mode manager to make any changes if required. When I'm happy with my settings, I can click OK to send the job to VPM. Let's take a look at VPM now, and as you can see, I have my two queues in place. I've been sending jobs to print from Synlab to both printers. Remember also that I set my queue to auto nest, so that jobs arriving here will be placed on my media in the most economical way possible. We can see this in action in the preview area here on the right. Nesting compatible jobs in this way will save me time and materials. It's simple now to select either of my two production queues and see what's going on with my two printers. I can manage how and when I want to send my jobs. Multiple queues can be used for a number of different scenarios, including separating different media types or printer preferences like tiling and nesting. Try out this simple to use feature for yourself and then why not have a look at further tutorials on this topic. Just go to cadlink.com and click on InfoSource, our dedicated online resource and training facility.